Hello everyone, today is April 30th, 2020. This is a new article that I found on Lori Vallow's brother, um, not Alex Cox, but Adam, and um, it was posted today. It says, Lori Vallow Daybell's radio DJ brother was investigated in a woman's death. He wrote a book about it. It says here, Lori Vallow Daybell's brother was investigated in the 2007 death of a woman who participated in a radio contest. He hosted this contest and he was never charged. It says here, Adam Cox, who also goes by the name Lucas M. Bow, was one of the hosts at the Morning Rave show. This is what the contest was called. And he wrote a book called My Crazy Radio Life. So the stunt happened on January 12, 2007. And what happened was the contestants were supposed to drink a large amount of water and then attempt to hold it in without vomiting or urinating. And whoever held it the longest uh, won a Nintendo Wii. And it says here, drinking large amounts of water in a short period of time can lead to a dangerous imbalance in electrolytes and water intoxication, and it can be fatal. And in his book, he did not name the woman who died in the incident but her name was Jennifer Lee Strange, and she was 28. She was a California mother of three. She died from acute water intoxication, and her body was found hours after the contest. So Adam Cox and nine other radio station employees were fired in the incident. He wrote that in his book. He said that the contest had been approved by the radio station's management and that he and his colleagues were just following orders. He also said during the contest, a few listeners called into the show and said that this kind of activity can be dangerous. One of the callers said she was a nurse. Our show was a fun, playful show and sometimes even sarcastic humor. At this point during the show, we did not have the authority or any direction to stop the contest. That's what he said in his book. So Adam Cox and his co-host made several jokes on the, on the air about her um, distorted belly, saying that she looked pregnant during the contest. That is according to a document filed. He said, this is what it feels like when you're drowning. There's a lot of water inside you. And she, strange, told the host her head hurt, according to the document. That is what she said, my head hurts. At that point, they should have stopped it. You know, because if you get a headache, that means that, um, uh, you're doing something too fast, you know, and there's something wrong. So he wrote in his book that he learned of her death in a phone call from his boss on the day of the contest. I picked up the phone groggily and said hello. Then I was about to hear words that had a catastrophic impact on my life, which will forever be engraved in my mind and soul. My boss said, one of the contestants from the contest died today. That is what he wrote in his book. He said, I couldn't understand why or how that could have happened. Even though a nurse called in and said that it's not good, that it, it could be fatal, he still said that he does not understand how it could have happened. I started crying thinking about her 
one of our loyal listeners, a mom just trying to win a wee for her kids. Thinking about that hit me like a ton of bricks. Looking back on that January 15th day, and the editor's note here said it was January 12th, I believe it was the saddest day that I can remember except for the day that I got a call when I was in Little Rock that my older sister Stacy had passed away. After speaking with the station's lawyers after the incident, Cox wrote in his book, he and nine other employees were fired. All of us were being investigated for possible criminal charges of aiding and participating in a wrongful death episode. And then the Sacramento District Attorney announced that there would be no criminal charges filed in the case against the station or the employees. But her family did file a wrongful death lawsuit against the parent company. In 2009, her family was awarded $16.5 million by a California jury, which found the station liable for the actions of its employees. The station went off the air in 2017. In his book, Adam Cox wrote that he struggled to find work after her death. Nobody was going to hire a DJ with a reputation as a killer. I was branded with a cruel and false charge. That's what he said in his book. Since then, he has found work at other radio stations. And he did not respond to requests for comment. Now Cox is listed among 48 potential witnesses the prosecution could call in its case against his sister Lori. And Lori is still being held on one million bond in Rexburg, Idaho. And she faces two counts of felony desertion of a child and the disappearance of her children, JJ Vallow and Tylee Ryan, who were last seen in September. She also faces misdemeanor charges of resisting and obstructing an officer, solicitation of a crime, and contempt. That is according to the Idaho Prosecutor's Office. She has pleaded not guilty to all charges and denied all allegations of wrongdoing. And then it talks about Alex Cox. He died December 12th and his death is under investigation. And it says here that on July 11th, 2019, Alex shot and killed Charles Vallow. Alex told police he acted in self-defense when he shot Charles. It says that JJ has brown hair and brown eyes. He's four feet tall and weighs 50 pounds. He has autism and may be in need of medical attention. Tylee has blonde hair and blue eyes, is five feet tall and weighs 160 pounds. So that is what this article has to say here. Um, apparently Adam Cox was also wanted in a death and that also um, is kind of connected to Lori because it's her brother and Alex Cox shot and killed Lori's husband Charles Vallow so it seems like all three of them were wanted in murders anyway um, that is what I have to say in in this video um, I am stunned because I knew she had another brother, but I didn't know that he was wanted in a murder also. Even though he wasn't charged, he still lost his job. And a nurse came on the air and said that it could be a fatal thing to drink so much water. And then in his book he says, well, I don't know how it happened. 
Anyway, if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Thank you for clicking in. Have a wonderful night.